What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. Man, we got some big news this Tuesday, which is the Google stock is now going to be splitting 20 for 1, which is just absolutely phenomenal. A lot of us have been waiting for this pretty much what feels like forever. I believe the last time that we got a stock split was somewhere between 2014 and 2015. So it's been a long time coming, especially with the Google's price being around $3,000 per share. I mean, a lot of us retail buyers, we're not going to be able to buy a complete share of Google. And if we are, it's going to be a huge part of our portfolio just owning one share. So this split will effectively put Google around $140 to $150 with the current price that we have today which I mean is a lot more affordable and a lot more appealing than $3,000 per share. But anyways, with that being said, this video we are going to be talking all about what the stock split means for the stock, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing for retail buyers and for institutional investors. So if you guys want to see all that and my thoughts and opinions, then stay tuned and you guys already know what comes next. Cue that intro. So before we talk about this stock split, let's take a look at how Google has been performing over the past few years. So right now we are sitting at about $2,871, which is a huge amount for Google. And I do believe that we peaked out about $3,000 just recently when they announced the stock split. So if we go back to the, let's say the five day chart. Yeah, we can see that we were looking at about $3,000. And of course we had a little bit of a sell off, but I mean, with the market that we had today and the inflation fears, it's to be expected. But anyways, if you go back to the five year chart, we can see that we are up 244%. That is huge in just five years. If we were to buy in February of 2017, we were looking at $834, which is just absolutely insane to see that now we are sitting at almost $3,000. And if we hit the max chart, I mean, damn, $54 all the way up to about $3,000 absolutely insane but we all know how great of a stock google is and all the affiliates and all the things that they own and all the let's just say all the tangible assets that they have and intangible assets for example i mean they have their search engine which is probably one of the best platforms for advertising not to not to forget about youtube another great platform to advertise so of course they have all that but then when you look at some of the other things that they own for example they have the whole google platform from things like google mail google meet and tons of companies and schools and all these other professional and private companies are using the google platform and google ecosystem to kind of operate for example i mean we got their cloud storage we've got the google meets and like i said before tons and tons of companies out here using google ecosystem to survive and do their day-to-day -day operations so with that being said, we all know how great Google is. I mean, just look at some of their subsidiaries. But anyways, with all that talk being said, let's talk a little bit about their stock split and why it's so great for the company. So according to this article, which by the way, all the articles that I use in this video will be available in the link in the description down below. So you guys can check it all out for yourself. But anyways, what the article is saying is that the CFO said the reason for the split is to make our shares more accessible. And that makes total sense. I mean, what retail investor is going to be able to buy a couple of shares at $3,000? And if you were, you're either really rich or it's going to be a huge part of your portfolio. So it looks a lot better and it's a lot more accessible to buy a few shares at $150 than even buying one share at $3,000. So in that perspective, it does really do a lot in terms of the psychological effect. But if you're looking at looking from it from a valuation standpoint of view, it doesn't change the valuation at all. And here's why. So if the stock does a split, it doesn't make it more valuable or less valuable. All it really does is change the psychological effect. And that's where things get really exciting. So believe it or not, even if the valuation doesn't change, the psychological effect is actually pretty deep, especially in the short term. So we're going to be looking at two different stocks that just had recent stock splits in 2020 of August, and those would be Tesla and Apple, both of which could be kind of a safer play, which kind of has to do a little bit with Google, but then also a growth play like Tesla, which is kind of what Google is. It's a growth play and kind of a safe play. So with that being said, let's kind of take a look at what happened in August for both of these stocks. So before the stock split news was announced, you can kind of see that there was a little bit of euphoria as it was announced. And then we got peak, we got peak pricing as soon as it was announced or as soon as it happened, actually. So Apple, I believe, happened on the 28th. So you can kind of see that run up and then it kind of regressed to the mean. So what a lot of people are looking at is a repeat in history. So people are expecting Google to do the same thing where 
as soon as it announced it's going to run up and then as soon as the stock split it's going to run up even more and then probably sell off so again this is not 100 percent guaranteed this is just looking at what stocks did in the past apple and tesla but i mean most people are expecting the same thing to happen to google so if you are a trader this could be the golden opportunity and i'm not recommending this for me example i am a long-term trader so i'm just buying on the dip or i'm just dollar cost averaging every single week so to me, this doesn't really matter too much in the short term. And we're kind of go over every single scenario. But if you're a trader or if you're expecting to look at a trade, this could be a good potential one. And I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not recommending anything. I'm just saying this is what has happened in history and in the past. So scenario number one is if you are a trader, then I mean, this could be a golden opportunity as soon as the stock split happens. Or two, if you are a long term investor or if you dollar cost average, I wouldn't worry too much about what happens in the short term. I mean, if you're looking to trade that little blip, it's just a blip on the radar. I mean, it's nothing. Look at what happened in 2022. We are we're golden. I mean, Apple, since this date, I see it was about one hundred and twenty four dollars right you can see down here 124 dollars and then now it is i mean now it's 173 tesla's at 927 and then back then it was let's go to august it was about 440 dollars so again that's huge i mean it doesn't really matter what happens in the short term if you're looking for long term so again what i would do is if you are a short-term investor then yeah go ahead and try to trade it totally up to you not recommend anything but if you are a long-term investor like myself this could be a great opportunity to kind of wait on that dip that happens right after that stock split. I mean, maybe averaging a little bit more or maybe averaging right before the split even happens. Totally up to you again, not advising anything. Me personally, I'm going to do what I've been doing for the last few years and that's just invest every single week, throw in a couple hundred bucks. Or <laughs> I don't want to say a couple hundred bucks because I'm spreading that out through a bunch of different stocks. There are a few bucks here and there every single week. And that's what I've been doing with Apple and Tesla for pretty much since 2020. So again, hope the best for you guys. This is definitely exciting news for Google. And let me know if you guys have questions down below. Like I said before, it's mostly a psychological effect. It doesn't really change the valuation or anything like that. But I mean, great news. I mean, this just proves that Google is growing and that we are in a good economy. And even though the stock market is kind of sucking, Hopefully in the long term, it'll just be a blip on the radar. So with that being said, that's it. If you guys found any value in this video, definitely, definitely, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And let me know if you guys like this kind of new segment. I'm trying something new. And it was definitely fun making this video. So again, guys, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. And guys, remember, everybody eats. And also comment down below if you guys are buying Google or not. Peace out, guys.